Number 10. We're starting with something that's been a hot topic recently in the media, since 2010 or so, and that's the phenomenon called sky trumpets. Now the name sky trumpets doesn't exactly make you think of something scary when you hear it said, but trust me, if you watch the videos where people hear these noises, you'll think again. They don't really sound like trumpets at all, more like deafening and unexplainable screeching, and they've been happening across the globe for years. These sounds just can't be fake, there's clearly something going on up in the sky. The name Sky Trumpets actually comes from part of the book of Revelations in the New Testament of the Bible, where it says that seven trumpets will sound from above and that means Judgment Day has arrived. Whether you believe this or not, and there's definitely been a lot more than seven trumpet noises, it's too spooky to ignore. Number 9. Our next video is an obscure one from last July, and it's your typical run-of-the-mill orbs in the sky kind of deal. Orbs in the sky is an interesting one because there's a whole host of different supernatural explanations for any kind of orb. The first one being that orbs are actually spirits and ghosts that can't manifest properly. The other kind of more likely explanation of these orbs here is a phenomenon known as Foo Fighters. And yeah, that is where the band got their name from. Foo Fighters are orbs that fly around the sky, first sighted and named during the Second World War when pilots would frequently see them and be outmaneuvered. They think that these orbs might be an alien spacecraft, or some sort of probe there to investigate Earth. Maybe that's what this unsuspecting onlooker captured on their camera on the 4th of July last year. Number 8. This one is really weird. I've never seen anything like it. It's a video of some strange shapes, called by the author of the video, Spiral Rods, flying through the sky. They first show the video at ordinary speed, and we see these bright flashes go by impossibly quick. They even kind of look like some sort of camera glitch. But they also move in the same sort of way that a worm or an eel might. I have no idea what these could be. A creature, maybe? Though it doesn't really make sense how it would be flying around like that without any wings, Interestingly though, when they're flying around, they are in the foreground of the image, so they can't be giant. According to cryptozoologists, these flying rods are also called skyfish, and are extra-dimensional creatures that come here from a different universe. Number 7. Moving on from strange rod creatures in the sky, we have a vortex in the sky. This is majorly creepy to look at, because it genuinely looks like a wormhole or some sort of portal out into the stars. There's no explanation for it, so who knows? Maybe it was. There were a bunch of stories thought up to explain these vortexes seen over Scandinavia, with the Russians eventually taking the blame and saying it was a new missile of theirs they were testing, though this came only 24 hours after they had denied anything to do with it. It also came around the same time that the Large Hadron Collider was used in Switzerland. Though anything to do with that seems unlikely as well since Switzerland and Norway are pretty far apart. Also according to video analysis, the spiraling vortex was 150 miles wide. Gigantic spiraling vortexes appear in the skies of Norway and Sweden. In the early hours of December 9th, 2009, Thousands of people in northern Norway and Sweden were roused from their beds by concerned family and friends to witness an incredible celestial event. Some were just curious about the unusual light display. 
Others were frightened for their lives when they saw the massive white spiral with the blue tail, growing at immense speed. Number 6. Here's a news report from the UK about something that happened thousands of miles away, in the city of Kitwe in Zambia. This is less aliens and wormholes and more Harry Potter. Yep, it's so Harry Potter, in fact, that an old trailer for the sixth movie Half-Blood Prince is included at the top of the article before you even get to any pictures of the event itself. This only happened two months ago and it looks like a giant, dark, humanoid cloud floating through the sky. Now, I presume that it is just a weird cloud, but no meteorologists have appeared with an explanation of it. So the only explanation right now is that it's a Dementor in real life. Now, it almost definitely is not a Dementor in real life, but it's still definitely freaky, even if it does just turn out to be a cloud and not something magical. Number 5. Another one along similar lines to the earlier vortex in Norway is this sighting of a strange bright shape in the sky, but this time it's over Los Angeles. There's even less of an explanation for this one than for some of the other ones. It's really just a clip from a compilation, so feel free to guess at what you think it could be. Maybe it's a shooting star filmed incredibly close to a planet's surface, or a comet, and whoever filmed it just didn't know there was meant to be a comet passing by. Or alternatively, it's a giant alien spaceship flying overhead, which would be pretty cool at least, and in a way makes more sense than any theory about a comet or shooting star because of the highly unusual and bloated shape of its tail. Kinda of funny that it's flying over an airport though, maybe the aliens are looking for a good spot to land. What the f*** is that? That's the, that's uh... That's crazy bro. Number 4. This one is odd. At first glance, it looks just like some lights in the sky caught conveniently on CCTV. But I begin to wonder when I see the incredibly weird angle the camera is at, if it is CCTV. They can't really see anything aside from the giant statue, and even in the picture quality it's pretty distorted. So if it's not CCTV, and is, in fact, another camera left there and specially positioned, it does cast doubt on the legitimacy of this video. Moving on though, what we actually see is a row of half a dozen orbs, five of them in a neatish line and then another one way off to the right of the screen that disappears first. They come overhead and then dive downwards, past the statue and disappear off over the roof of the building. What these are, I don't know, but to hazard a guess I'd say that they're more Foo Fighters. Number 3. Chicken Little is an old fable that's appeared in print and pop culture often since it was collected by the Brothers Grimm in the 19th century. A story featuring a chicken who becomes convinced that the sky is falling down. This next clip on our list might be showing us that Chicken Little isn't as crazy as often portrayed, because we see a bunch of strange material falling out of the sky. The guy filming says it looks like snow, and if it wasn't for the fact he's out in California in the middle of summer with the clear blue skies above, I'd have to agree. He also calls it garbage and paper, and speculates that maybe the mysterious stuff has fallen off an airplane, though we can't see any of those either. Who knows, maybe this guy really is falling down. I don't know if you can tell, but see all these little white dots? These are garbage falling from this guy. I'm guessing from a plane or something. Look like snow. Number 2. Chemtrails are a favorite topic of many conspiracy theorists around the world. Speculation about them ranging from just being herbicides to being some sort of chemical use to brainwash people. And it really wouldn't be a complete list of mysteries in the sky without including them. This video starts with two people looking at the clouds, which they think are chemtrails, and moving on to document sticky string rain. This string rain is some pretty weird looking stuff, kind of like a spider web or silly string from a kid's birthday party. The girl gets some on her hand and it gets stuck, and then when she tears it apart, she says it feels foamy. Who knows what this stuff is? Maybe there are giant sky spiders waiting to jump down and wipe us all out. Alright, we just happen to be in the parking lot here and we see some all clumped up by the tree. Yeah, I don't know if I should touch it. I can't get it off. Alright, what does it feel like? Do you hear that? No. It splits almost like, um, 
it feels like foamy, like silly string kind of, but not really. It's like, it's super sticky. Number one. Up until now, all the videos on our list have been from recent years, none from the last century at all. But the camera was invented in 1816, so as you'd expect, there are strange sightings in the sky going back decades. Like this one from 1952. When people think UFOs in America, people think of the Roswell crash. When actually, Roswell is the most debunked UFO event in history. Five years after it, in the middle of what the press has called the UFO flap, there was a much more frightening sighting that people seem to forget about. When mysterious lights and shapes were filmed in the sky flying right over the Capitol building in the middle of Washington, D.C. To this day, the military have no concrete explanation of what happened, going as far to declare the whole thing as just a mirage, which hundreds of eyewitness accounts from the ground and from airplanes above all testified to the opposite. Oh yes, we discussed it in every conference that we've had with the military. There's always things like that going on. Uh, flying saucers and they've had other things, you know, if I'm not mistaken. 